All right, all right, guys. Welcome, welcome to Rant and Chill. A channel where, hey, hey, let's turn down that music. There we go, there we go. Uh, anyway, a channel where I like to rant and chill. Here, gonna be chilling, gonna be reacting to some something that was recommended to me in the Discord. A member of the band of this band that we're gonna get into recommended this. His name is Monster Kearu. Uh, Kearu. I'm not sure if I said that right, but I try. Uh, now, I give my honest opinion on reactions. But one thing I've learned is maybe I could probably express myself better. And Okay, like if, if I don't like it, I will let you know like why and all that. But I'll try to be constructive, okay? All right. Let, well, we're going to get into it here, okay? I'm going to press that play button. Actually, first, I'm going to put it on the screen. This is what we're going to be reacting to. Let me let me uh, put it on the screen here. Okay. Uh, I don't know what this is other than it's Visual Kai. Okay. Visual K. Am I saying that right? Um, the band is called Abort. This is like a new album. It looks like a teaser. All right. Let's press that play button and uh, see what we think of it. Oh, by the way, if you like this sort of thing, you already know what to do. Press that like button, share, and subscribe, and consider becoming a patron. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. Like an intro track. It's called Six Feet Under. I like this. Pause, gonna pause. I was not expecting um, death metal. I was not expecting that. I guess, is that what Visual Kai is? I thought Visual Kai was just like the look, but I guess it's like the sound. Uh, all I know about Visual Kai, Visual Kai, okay, or whatever, uh, is like Durin Gray. I think a few other bands. Um, this, I, because I was so rude and I interrupted. I'm going to back up and we're going to play this track from its uh, its beginning, okay? Afro All right, it's a teaser of multiple tracks. I'm going to pause after every little track. Otherwise, I'm probably going to forget, okay? Aphrodite, from what I heard, sounds pretty cool. It's a little bit of that mix, a little juxta juxtaposition of a, of a monstrous and sweet, you know, a little bit of br brutal death metal with some sweet, um, uh, I guess, chorus. Who is uh, Akari Aobara? Uh, e um, have I heard her before? I don't know, but that was pretty cool. I like that. Very my life. Castle, 
Okay, so that was Bury My Life, a little teaser of that, and what I heard so far. You know, uh, it sounds promising. I like what I heard there. It's, it's pretty intense. This is an intense death metal. If you, if you don't like death metal sort of stuff, you're not going to like this. But if you do have an appetite for it, and this is sounding pretty good so far. Um, obviously, the vocals are very brutal. and They're guttural, you know, right? Um, and you have very intense... Intense guitars, intense um, drumming going on there, um, but pretty cool. Okay, all right, let's do uh, bias. <laughs> That's cool. That part in this song is like my favorite part. That it has a it has a nice hook to it. It's nice. Some of you guys might like the more intense part. That's my like least favorite part. Well, when it's not the butt screams, that's like okay, I know what's going on there. But my favorite part is this part. Okay, uh, sar sargasm or sarcasm, sarcasm. Okay. Uh, before we get into sarcasm, so the previous song was Bias. I liked Bias. I thought it was pretty cool. Like I said, the hook part was like my favorite um, where it sounded intense like the guitar did, but like the drumming actually was not. The drumming kind of had more of like your, um, it had like that that money beat. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. It had that, um, it had a catchy beat to it. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's talk about that song, uh, Sarcasm. Sarcasm. So, so far, that's not my favorite here. It might be my least favorite, okay? But this is just a teaser, right? It, like, when I listen to the whole song, my, my opinion might, may change. But there is some interesting things going on in that song. When I say interesting, you know, let me expand upon that, right? What do you mean by interesting? Well, let's explain that. Let's talk about that. It didn't sound, um, it sounded like they were experimenting with, uh, with certain change-ups there. Uh, there's, uh, some different shifts going on there that are very, um, that give that song a lot of character compared to other songs that we've heard so far. 
In fact, really, um, each song so far kind of has its thing to kind of make it different from the others. Uh, Aphrodite being a, a big difference with with the juxtaposition of the uh, sweet kind of poppy voice with the you know the death metal or a visual Kai voice. Uh, but with sarcasm, oh, man, I can't really. I don't know sure how to describe it, but there's there's a there's a shift there, and you can hear it, and it also is one so far where it seems like um, I don't know. There's two singers or one singer. I'm not exactly sure what the makeup of of this band is, what the band consists of, but it's it's the one so far where the one the singers as instead of growling is doing a little bit more singing. Um. Is this a death metal ballad? <laughs> anyway, now we're doing NPD, which I'm not sure what that stands for. Okay, this might be a death metal ballad. Whoa, whoa. Well, that song cut off when it was getting pretty good, pretty interesting, right? The ballad part was, I was like, okay, okay. But then when that change up happened, let's back up a bit. That part, that part, that part. Anyway, so NPD is one I'm going to have to listen to fully to really make a judgment on. It's intriguing. Uh, next one is Karma. That was pretty cool so far. So that's karma. Okay, let's talk about karma real fast. Okay, like I said, each song seems to have its own like distinct character to it that separates it from everything else. Uh, karma, while it's obviously like some of the other songs here, very intense um, with the with the you know with the guitar work and the drumming and especially the vocal work. The guitar is doing a lot of high notes here. Uh, you notice there's a it, it's taking a, a higher range, if you will. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool, and I, I liked it. No, that was karma. Oh, this is one uh, the core. Okay. I was not expecting that. Okay. 
pretty intense. That was pretty cool stuff. It was uh, at some time it seemed sounded kind of like disjointed a bit, but it's that's by design. I think it's supposed to be kind of put you on, un, make you feel uneasy at, at times. The way they did that was like uh, I guess what they did with the drumming there, like the drumming and the guitar work, it seemed kind of like at times a little bit off. To kind of make it seem like it's, um, you know. You guys follow me on that one? I, I liked what they did there. Um, it worked for me. I liked it. And that was uh, the, the core. Next song here is Pride. Pride. Whoa, hold on. That might be the ballad. Wait, so there's two two tracks here on this on this album that, that are definitely ballad types. Uh, okay. Pride sounds like okay, what I've heard from Pride, I'm intrigued by it. It's kinda like a slow burn for me. Um I mean what I mean is it might take me a couple of listens to really get it. Um to really get the feel for it. Um, if I'm listening to like death metal or some of the visual Kai, sometimes it's like, you know why I'm really listening to this. I want some intensity. <laughs> All right. This is like, this is like I'm on drugs music. I don't mean that in disrespect. I do not mean that in disrespect at all. When I listen to music like this, I'm like, Hmm, you know, it sounds good right now. <laughs> I mean, I'm not in college days anymore, so. And then the next song here is The Funeral 2012. The Funeral. Whoa, this is pretty cool. Wait. And one thing I haven't talked about here is the artwork. And it seems like this might be some sort of concept album with the first track being Six Feet Under, 1987. And then Ego Through Aphrodite, Burn My Life, Bias, Sarcasm, NPD, Karma, The Core, Pride. And then The Funeral, 2012. Okay. So, let's see. About like within like twenty five years, something happens. Is that right? I mean, my, it, did I do my math right here? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, six feet under nineteen eighty seven. Is that, if that's where we start, we go through Aphrodite, burn my life, buy a sarcasm NPD in twenty twelve. It's about like twenty five years later. What is this about? I don't know. It seems like from these titles, someone's unearthed from the grave and Aphrodite, like um, maybe the person who unearthed him is like some like hot uh, uh, warlock chick. Okay. And a curse is him. I don't know. Uh, bury my life. Does that say burn my life? Bury my life. Bias. But that's where I kind of don't know at that point. I don't really have a guess. Now, the artwork looks pretty cool. I, I dig it. I dig it. I like what's going on here. And so did the cat. But the cat is now going to sleep. That's good. But the cat was staring. The cat was staring at this one. The cat was staring at uh, 
uh, what appears to be the dude's nipple there, I think. I think that's what's going on. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. But the cat was staring at that. Okay, but a uh, little, little joking commentary aside, what did I think of this? I thought it was pretty cool. I'm intrigued by it. But you have to have a stomach for this. If not, then you're not going to like it, right? Um, yeah, that's that. So that was a board. Um Kind of curious about what the full album will sound like. And it uh, looks like it comes out on the 20th. So um, pretty soon. Okay. All right. You guys let me know what you thought about this. And y'all take it easy and have a good one. <laughs>